How did this all come about? Well, Tim, the musical director of Only Men Allowed, got in touch with me and um, said they were going to be doing Total Eclipse of the Heart and uh, th that they wanted to know if I would be interested in doing it with them. So uh, I asked them to send me, um, you know, some sort of score for me to listen to, you know, and it was absolutely fantastic. But I thought, oh my God, where do I come in? And I was trying, I was in the... I was in Portugal at the time, right, and the MP3 did to me, you know, and I was like, oh, my God, I can't fit the part in. But what I did, what he, what he omitted to tell me was I don't come in until three minutes, eight seconds into the song, so that's why I couldn't fit in there. <laughs> anyway, so I th we thought, uh, he asked me would I do it live in the arena originally, just, you know. So I said, well, if, if we have a rehearsal, Tim came down to the house the night before, and we, he played it on the piano, and uh, it just worked out all right, you know, but we had to have a rehearsal with the boys, of course. So we had a, an hour rehearsal the next day, and um, then it was decided that I would do it in the night, you know. But it, I was a complete surprise in the arena, and like three minutes, eight seconds into the song, the boys are all doing their thing, you know, and everybody, and they got a great show anyway. But then I come on stage, and everybody just stood up, and they were crying, some of them as well, you know. We had like a standing ovation, and uh, it went so well that um, Tim asked me, uh, would I record it then on the album? Um, and I, and we did it, and I love it. And it was great working with them. And they're very pleasant on the eye as well. <laughs> <laughs> Which always helps. Ah. How does it feel? You know, you are, um, well, this sort of, you know, famous rock star. They are male voice choir. How does it feel to, to bring those two things, those two genres together? Uh, well, Jim Steinman has always um, mixed, you know, like... Um, like even opera with rock, you know, and it's so, so uh, you know, rock with uh, these great voices these boys got, and some of them, I mean, they're like angels when they sing. So it's a good combination, you know, and it does work. It works great. It's been fun working with them as well, and I will be doing the odd gig with them if I'm available, you know, like, uh, and uh, just for the one song, you know. Um, but uh, oh, that's how it came about, out of the blue. They are obviously well taking the world by storm. They've really set them. They're on great. Fire since the yeah. last, uh, last choir standing. You have been doing that for for years. How does it feel to to collaborate on a song that is so important to you? Well, it is. It's uh, this this song is. I never get tired of singing Total Eclipse of the Heart. You know, like some people they say, oh, how do you feel about singing that song again? You know, you must have sang it thousands of times, um, but. I love singing it. It causes a really good uh, atmosphere in the halls and wherever I work, you know, and concerts. I'm always doing concerts in Europe. I live mostly in Portugal. Now, you'd think it was Portugal here today, wouldn't you? But it's not. It's Wales. And um, uh, I commute a lot from there because I live a lot there, you know. Uh, but I do a lot of concerts in Europe. And... They all know the words, and my audience are right across the board, you know. They're like from 10 up to 60-odd, you know what I mean? But mostly in their 30s, you know, and they, they all know the words. Everybody sings along, and it's great, you know. But this, this is an evergreen song. It's a real classic, you know. And, uh, I mean, even five years ago, I had another number one with it uh, for 12 weeks running in France. I did it with uh, Carrie Nanton, and it was a duet that went to number one for 12 solid weeks, you know. So, uh, and Jim Steinman absolutely loves this version with Only Men Allowed, you know. Um, he's thrilled with it. He thinks it's sexy, because, he, you know, it, it's, it's a, he said it's lovely that the sex is still in it, you know, and... Oh, if you've seen his uh, email, it's absolutely glowing. The boys were thrilled to bits. Tim was dancing around the kitchen, I think. Ha ha ha! a classic so famous like you say across the world yeah so how do you think that, I mean, this is a whole new audience you're going to be tapping into here do you think yeah oh well you know in the, in the arena in uh, cardiff 
they are uh, very much the same sort of age group as I get as well. You know, there was a lot of... Because uh, they're young, uh, sexy guys as well, you know, and... Um, they're full of fun, and it's not just the street choir, you know. They're, they're, they, they, their show is, I don't know if you've ever seen their show, but it's a real good show, you know. They, they perform the songs, not just sing them, you know. It's, it's great. Uh, and you're saying you are uh, incredibly popular in, in Europe. Yeah. How do you think you have such a wider people? Oh, I, well, down to the songs, and I mean, Holding Out for a Hero is... Uh, uh, hit in America as well obviously Total Eclipse of the Heart was all over the world um, It's a Heartache was my first American hit you know I mean I'm very lucky to to, to be travelling all over the world not just Europe you know and um, but I know the guys are, are breaking into America and it would be lovely to do a couple of shows over there with them you know why do you think this song has that enduring appeal? Why is it still popular 25, 26 years on? And it's still been, it's just been voted, uh, you know the Sing Star thing with Sonia? Yeah. It was just been voted the number one download, uh, the, the number one song that people sing to. Like karaoke? Yes! Oh, like, <laughs> they sent me a free one as well, all the kids. My mom, I got loads of nieces and nephews and they love it, you know, they all singing along with it, you know. Would you uh, think about it being a karaoke classic then? Oh, why not? Uh, I don't know. I don't know why it is, because it's a difficult song to sing. Mostly people sing uh, I Got You Babe or something in karaoke, don't they? But uh, no, I'm number one totally. I don't know. It's just, when I heard the song first, right, when I, before I recorded the song in 83, I cried when I heard the song. I thought it was so beautiful. It, it makes you, the back of your neck tingle, you know. Well, and when a song does that to you, it's usually good. So, and it's been proved incredibly successful. <laughs> it has been, yeah. What do you think, I mean, you've been a famous star for, for many years. What is your enduring appeal? Why do people still want to hear you? I think because uh, I have never was in fashion. i never really gone out to fashion. I, I never followed a trend, you know. I've always stuck to my roots, which is basically rock and, you know, uh, rock pop, you know. And, um, you know, I've never, never led any fashion, darling, but, you know, I'm me, and I've never changed, I, um, my attitude hasn't changed either, I work hard, mind, um, I, um, my mother's always, my mother always said to me, the motto was, you know, get out there and do it, you can do it, nobody's going to do it for you, get out, and, you know, and uh, so, I've, I've never stopped working, you know,